Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing a first impressions video. I was just sent this absolutely ginormous package from Mecca. This is my first ever PR package from Mecca, so this is very, very exciting for me. Also, shout out to Garnier for this rope. Thank you so much. And in this massive box was six products. Mecca Maxima here in Australia is almost like another Sephora in the US just to get some reference. They already have a skincare and makeup line with Mecca Cosmetica. However, Mecca Max is the makeup line in their Mecca Maxima stores. It's really confusing. I get confused myself all the time. So anyway, so because the products are in Mecca, they are more of a high end design and quality. And as you can see, I've already done my brows because we didn't get any brow products. So what came in the box was the Mecca Max Shimmer Shot Highlighting Wand. I've only swatched this. I haven't like used it on my face or with a beauty blender or anything like that. So this is going to be interesting to see how it works on the face. Then we have the Sunlit Skin Bronzer in the shade Medium. First of all, this packaging is freaking gorgeous, but like, hello, like fingerprints everywhere. And this is what the bronzer looks like. As I said before, I have swatched all of these products except for the mascara, because I, I haven't got any mascara on right now. We also have the Pout Pop Lipstick, which is in this packaging here. So you like press the bottom and then it comes out. And this is the shade here. This is in the shade Freedom Fighter. And then we have the IMAX Power Couple Mascara, which has two different ends. We also have a A Lip Start Liquid Lipstick, which is in the shade Skinny Latte. We also have a Iphoria Vivid Impact Eyeshadow Palette as well. So I just wanted to point out that I can only speak on these products here. All of the opinions that I say are my own. Just because I was sent this, that does not mean that I'm going to be biased. You guys know I don't bullshit. I say it exactly how it is. If the product is great, it's great. If it's shit, it's shit. Okay, so I've already like done my skincare and moisturized off camera. Also, excuse the bathroom. I'm just really, really comfy in this right now. <laughs> this does look launch on the 1st of August. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the Shimmer Shot Highlighting Wand. Now, I don't know how <laughs> this is gonna go. So I'm thinking of just applying, you know what, let me do actual primer first. To fill in my pores and fine lines, I'm gonna go ahead with the NYX Pore Filler. It is very, very comparable to Benefit Pore Professional. So if you guys want a cheaper alternative, go for the NYX one. Okay, so now that I have done that, let's go ahead and start applying this. Just where I usually highlight. Just to give my face a bit of a glow. Now, if you do have breakouts, you do not want to go over your breakouts with the brush. You want to put some like on the back of your hand and then go in with another brush because if you use this, you're going to contaminate it. You're going to get bacteria on it and then you're going to break the fuck out whenever you use it. So, okay, so I'm going to grab my beauty blender and just pat this in. Okay, that's sparkly. Now that I'm looking at it, it's just straight up glitter. I definitely did a really good job at making my skin look really nice and healthy and glowy. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot just to prep and prime my lids because this eyeshadow palette here, the Iphoria palette, has some really, really gorgeous shades and I want them to really pop. So I'm gonna use an eye base that covers everything, that way it pops even more. So now I'm gonna set down that base. I'm just gonna set the crease area using my MAC Studio Fix in NC20. And I usually set my whole entire lid, but most of these shades here are actually shimmer shades. So with shimmer shades, they're best applied onto like a tacky base, that way they really like stick and stand out a lot more. So what that means is, is that I'm gonna have to go in with another palette just for my crease work. I'm actually gonna do that first. I'm gonna go in with my MAC Saddle Eyeshadow. And this is just gonna go right through the crease. So with the Iphoria Vivid Impact Eye Palette, let me just go into like the details as to what it says on the website. So it says from peekaboo nudes to all out glam hues. This eyeshadow edit, it's a palette, but okay, is made for mixing and matching. Layer metallic shimmers with matte neutrals in rich jewel tones. Like, like jewels, like rubies and like jewels, like in rich jewel tones, okay? To create statement making eye looks. The palette's gonna retail for 45 AUD or $50 in New Zealand. So I'm gonna go ahead, I usually apply my shimmer shades with like a MAC 239 brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack on, I think I wanna use this shade here. Okay, that pigment looks really, really good. Let me just like swatch this one time with my finger. Let me just, fuck. That is just one swipe. That's just one fucking swipe. Okay, so um, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to darken up the outer part of my eye first before I go ahead and do all of this. So let me just go back in with Saddle and darken it up. I'm gonna go in with MAC Handwritten, which I think is very similar to Americano by Makeup Geek. Okay, it's a bit messy, but we can clean that up. That's fine. I'm gonna go in with this shade here now. Okay, I'm gonna apply that on the center of the lid. 
And then I'm gonna grab the back of the brush and I'm gonna go in with this lighter kind of lilac shade. And I'm, oh, this doesn't look that pigmented. Okay, this isn't anywhere near as pigmented as the other ones. And I'm gonna pop this in my inner corner, but there's literally nothing showing up. I'm just gonna grab my finger with that shade. I'm gonna use that to apply it all over my lid because as I was blending that color out, it literally lost all of its pigment, so. Um, all right, so now let's just, I look like a fucking mess. Blend out this edge right here. Okay, cause I'm, I'm finding that as I'm blending out these shadows, they're disappearing into nothing. Let me just try and fix plus the brush. Yep, you need fix plus. Okay, so you definitely do need fix plus if you want these eyeshadows to work, otherwise they will literally crumble off and fucking go everywhere. But you can see the difference of the color, right? Just like by adding fix plus, how it makes it a lot more brighter. This is frustrating me because now that this brush is wet, it's no longer working with the fix plus method. So now I'm gonna have to go in with another dry eyeshadow brush. I'm actually kind of disappointed right now. I thought that these were gonna be amazing, but okay, let's just keep going. Yes, there we go. I'm gonna try and fix plus the smaller brush and use it as a inner corner highlight. Okay, no. All right, I'm gonna call it. I don't like this eyeshadow palette. The reason why I chose to do purples on my eyes is because purples are the hardest eyeshadows to make. Like, not just eyeshadows, with anything. They're very, very tricky because the pigment is quite unstable. But anyway, I'm gonna highlight using this shimmery white shade from the palette. Let's do a little swatch. Okay, that comes out beautiful. That, oh my God, that is a highlighter though, goddamn. So let's just use this as a inner corner highlight. Yeah, that's gorge. This is what I wanted the other shadows to be. Okay, so moving on to the rest of my eyes now, I'm gonna do some winged liner. I'm gonna use my NYX Matte Liquid, what is it? Matte Liquid Liner. Okay, so now that lashes and liner is on and everything is done, let's go ahead and move on to skin. Now, I have high hopes for the, you know, I, I don't know why I should have high hopes really. I also did use the mascara on my top lashes just as I popped on my falsies and it was a little bit wet. I think it's because it's quite new. So um, I'm really excited to see how this other end is gonna go though with like the mini mascara. Okay, but let's move on to skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some foundation. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 122. Okay, so I'm willing to give this shimmer shot highlighting bullshit another chance. Let me just go on the actual website and see what it says about it. Click and glow with this pen of liquidized light that will fix all your beauty dramas in a flash. Wear alone or mixed with a foundation. So I'm actually going to try and use it on top of foundation. And if it doesn't go well, then um, fuck. Okay. I have a feeling it's going to make my foundation go patchy. So let's just put it everywhere. Okay, it's definitely making my foundation go patchy. Don't know. Also, this pen retails for $25 Australian and $28 New Zealand. Hold up, it did leave a kind of like a nice glow, but you really have to push that shit in. I don't, I don't like that. Okay, let's move on to a concealer. So um, I'm actually using a new one. I'm using the Maybelline Master Conceal because I've seen so many people rave about this. Doesn't look like it's gonna make me look white under my eye, just a little bit more highlighted. I'm also gonna take that down the size of my nose. That blended in really nicely. Let's go ahead and set. Now I'm gonna use my RCMA No Color Powder. I'm also gonna take like whatever translucent powder is left. I'm just gonna set my cheeks because um, I want this bronzer to work. <laughs> I honestly don't have high hopes right now, and it's honestly pretty disappointing because a brand as big as Mecca, I would hope would have actually had their shit together when it comes to cosmetics. So this is the Sunlit Skin Bronzer in the shade Medium. Let me just get the little description up. So it says this light reflecting bronzer turns up the temperature for silky glowing skin. Available in three universally glam mate. Oh, fuck me dead. Available in three universally glam-azing shades instead of amazing, like glam, fuck me up. These retail for $22 and I have the shade medium, like I said earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use like my powder brush. I feel like the shimmer that was on top of it is an overspray because it looks pretty freaking matte now. I'm not mad at it. I'm also gonna use that to bronze up my forehead. I'm gonna clean up under my cheekbone. 
this could definitely pass off as a contouring product, I feel, because it does look really, really nice and natural. I'm actually very, very surprised with this bronzer because I, after the eyeshadows and the highlighting clicky pen, I was not having high expectations at all. I'm gonna go in with a blush. So I'm gonna be using a NYX blush. This is in the shade Intuition. Now I'm using a new highlighter product that I, ha it's not, it's new to me, it's not new to you guys. This is the Sleek Solstice Palette and I've been dying to get my hands on this. I was walking through Target the other day and I saw it and I was just like, <gasps> I'm actually going to use this shade here. I don't really like the yellow tone. I don't know why, it's just not as pigmented to me. Oh my god, this is everything. And this is on top of powdered skin as well, guys. And it's showing up this much still. Like, are you joking? Let's finish off the eyes. So I'm going to go back in with Saddle by MAC, just on a pencil brush. And then I'm going to go in with the small version of the IMAX Power Couple Mascara. Let me get the info. Take lashes to new limits with this double-ended multi-talented, it's talented, guys, powerhouse mascara designed to lift, lengthen, and curl every single lash. Use the micro brush first to define and separate. Oh fuck, let him do that. Followed by the chubby end to build volume, length, and va va voom. Okay, let's go ahead with this small guy. Okay, I don't know if you guys are actually seeing how, excuse me, how tiny this is. Like, it's not even the size of my pinky. It literally feels like I'm not applying anything to my lower lashes. Like, it, it just feels like I'm moving them. Okay, so that little ass wand, look at the drama on my lower lashes. Are you joking? Holy crap. Let me just comb them out. It's just a little bit too much for me. Okay, so the mascara is a thumbs up. The bronzer is a thumbs up. Now it is time for the liquid lipstick. So this is the A-Lister liquid lipstick in the shade Skinny Latte. I don't like that you can't see the color through the packaging. That also means that you can't see how full this really is. So this is what the color looks like. I have swatched this as well. It is a really, really nice nude shade. Here is what the one looks like. It's just a flat doe foot. Doesn't smell like anything at all. Let me just read the claims for this. Full cover, long wear, lip color. This high pigment matte finish formula in seven shades of bulletproof beige, powered up pinks and timeless reds. Okay, well, let's get cracking. So I'm just gonna go ahead and slap this on. Oh wow, that is pigmented shit. Pretty much full pigment on the lower lip. The top lip is starting to get a little bit streaky because I am running out of product. And this is just like one dip in, mind you, as well. Okay, and that is the second coat done. Now, this lip does not go with this eye. I feel like a 90-year-old grandmother, but this formula is very quick drying. My bottom lip has already almost set fully, so um, this could be interesting to see how this holds up. And I really, really like how flat this applicator is. I found it really, really easy to sculpt out my lip shape, and I love how that it's not like really furry. Like, you know how you can get like those liquid lipsticks that have the applicator and it's like fluffy and shit and you, you can't get a crisp fucking line, it's annoying. I did not have that problem at all. This was really, really nice. So let's just go ahead and let this dry for a couple of minutes and then I will be back. Okay guys, so I just got changed. I changed into this t-shirt that I got from Zara. This is actually what I was meant to wear for the Face Awards night. <laughs> I didn't realize until the night before that you can actually, it's like see-through. It's like literally see-through. You can see like my nips through it. So I was like, mm, not happening on stage, nope. The liquid lipstick has definitely dried down to a full matte. It has a little bit of a tacky feeling, but um, I'm gonna kiss the back of my hand to see if there's any transfer at the moment. Almost no transfer. There's a very, very slight rim, but um, I'm actually kind of surprised because this is still kind of tacky. I really hope that this does not fully set down to a full matte matte because if it goes too matte, then it's gonna dry the fuck out of my lips. I naturally have pretty dry lips as it is, so hopefully this doesn't fuck me up. Let's just go over the products really quickly, just give me my first impression. The eyeshadow palette, I don't have high hopes for at all. Purple shimmers applied fucking shit. Had to fix plus them and then they worked fine. The bronzer, I'm really, really loving. I love this bronzer. The bullet lipstick is pretty cute. Um, it's not something I'm gonna wear every day, so I'll probably give it away to one of my friends, but it is a stunning color and it's more of a satin finish. The liquid lipstick, I'm kind of really liking now that I've changed up like my t-shirt, I'm out of my bathrobe. I usually hate these kinds of colors on me, but I think it's growing on me. The Shimmer Shot Highlighting Wand, um, 
I didn't notice it. Just reminds me of like moisturizer mixed with glitter. It's kind of like MAC strobe cream, just fucking glittery. So the mascara I do like. It does definitely give a lot of definition, a lot of volume, as you saw from my lower lashes on camera. The only thing I don't like about the mascara at the moment is that it left it kind of clumpy. So it's gonna be interesting to see if this transfers and how well this stays on, as well as a liquid lip. I wanna know if it's gonna crack. I'm gonna go have a drink, have something to eat. I'm not gonna be drinking through a fucking straw. Like I'm just gonna go through like my normal everyday routine because I don't drink out of straws every single day. Like fuck that. Also, I'm gonna be filming a couple of videos as well for you guys today. So let's just go ahead, leave this on, see how it goes, and. I will be back soon. Okay, I just wanted to come on here really quickly and just give you guys an update. It's been like three minutes. I just made myself a cup of tea because I'm just like, I just need some caffeine right now. And it has already started transferring. So this is gonna be interesting to see if this actually is long wearing, like it says in the name, like in the claims of it. Hey guys, so it is currently like 7.30 or 8 o'clock at night right now. I am ready to take everything off at this point and I feel like I know what my general opinions are of these products. So let me just go ahead and get real comfortable. This is like a hack that I have for these t-shirts here that I wear in my videos that I like to just see that. Like I'll just get like a hair clip and clip it up at the back. Oh, yep, locked. Let me just get comfy real quick. Okay, so final thoughts. First of all, this Shimmer Shot Highlighting Wand. I didn't notice it. I don't know where it's gone. I don't know where it's been. I don't know who took her. It's a great idea in theory, but the fact that this is so glittery turns me the fuck off. It looks gorgeous on the back of my hand, right? But once you blend it all out and the, the formula settles into your skin, you're just left with glitter. So I don't, I don't get it. The only time that I can see anyone or myself using this is on a photo shoot when I don't have a glitter on hand and I need the eye to look wet and I'll just like swipe it over the eye once. That's literally all I'll use it for and that would be never. I personally will not repurchase or recommend this product to anyone. All right, next let's do this eyeshadow palette. So this is the Iphoria Vivid Impact as we spoke about before. You guys saw the struggle of getting these on. So the fact that it has now flaked down onto, let me zoom in. I don't know if you guys can see, but it has definitely flaked down onto my lashes, which I'm not okay with. For a $45 palette, I did expect a lot more than this. I thought it would stay on a lot better. I didn't think that that would flake after, you know, three, four hours of wearing them. However, I can only speak for these two purple shades here. I'm yet to use the other ones in another tutorial, which I will end up doing eventually. So. At the moment, I'm going to say that I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I'm definitely going to use these other shades in some more tutorials that you guys will see very soon. This lipstick here doesn't have a scent. Um, I can't comment on because I didn't use it, but then again, it is just like a normal lipstick. It has like a satin finish, so it's going to get transferred. It's going to come off if you eat shit, you get it. The mascara I actually did enjoy using. I'm definitely going to be using this a lot more in upcoming videos because I really, really want to have a strong opinion on this mascara. So at the moment, I would say I would recommend it. I think it's about 38 dollars and you get two ones in this which is great the bronzer i'm fucking obsessed with i'm not really a fan of bronzers that have like a shimmer through them or anything like that but my cheeks just look natural they look great they look like i've just naturally like kind of woken up like this you know and they've got like a lot of highlight <laughs> but i really like how natural this looks even on my forehead it doesn't look orange so for like what 25 dollars, i would definitely definitely recommend this once again i'm in the shade medium and then last but not least the liquid lipstick in skinny latte this is held up really really well although it has gotten quite dry in that inner rim there and when i close my mouth it's faded away as well can you see that? It's also faded away just at the top here. I had dinner, I just had like pasta like off a fork, so it wasn't like fucking going all over my face, if you know what I mean, so that might affect transfer. So let's do the kiss test. Yeah, no transfer. But what I noticed as well is that these never really set down completely. Like, can you see that? Like, there is still just a little bit of tackiness. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the lipstick once again, just to see if we can layer it. Once again, I really, really did like the applicator in this and I love how thin the formula is. And I will say as well, I started to get some crusties just like on the outer sides um, within the first hour and a half or so. 
that laid really, really nicely. It's not patchy, there are no crusties, like it just laid like a dream. So my overall final thoughts for the A Lip Star Liquid Lipstick in Skinny Latte is that I actually really, really enjoy this. I would love to get some more colors in this, considering that it doesn't transfer and it laid perfectly, definitely puts it up there on my list. It dries quickly, it doesn't feel overly drying, you still get that little bit of a tacky feeling, but if you don't like drier feeling liquid lipsticks, then I would maybe say buy with caution, just because within the first hour and a half, I felt the need to start licking my lips and licking like the corners of my mouth. And I actually really like the color as well. I usually don't go for colors that look like this because anything with the slightest hint of red or pink in it makes my mouth look like a swollen asshole. Not that I know what that actually looks like, but in my mind, like that's what it would look like. So, um, yeah. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed this review on the brand new Mecca Max cosmetic line. If you guys did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know down below what you guys think of these products. If you're going to try these products, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any video requests, leave them down below. And yeah, I'll see you on my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.